All right, guys, have a couple knives here for sale. Um, is what it is. Need some money, <laughs> so I'm selling some stuff. Uh, three beauties, uh, all you know, just in my collection. Um, the only one that's actually used is the bottom one. Uh, I'll go through each one, uh, and I'll tell you what the price is and everything. Uh, if you're, I'll, I'll entertain all serious offers. If you're making a serious offer, shoot it my way, and I'll consider it. But uh, anyway. And of course, in the description box, I'll let you know if anything sold. It very clearly, this is sold or it's not sold, so you can save your time if it is, you know, with the interest. But uh, anyway, three pretty cool knives. The first one here on the bottom is a Spyderco Police. This is one of the old ones, stainless steel, uh, serrated. This is the uh, the knife that was used in the uh, music video Sabotage by the Beastie Boys, and uh, you can see that online. It's pretty cool. Actually, that's what originally interests me in that in this knife in getting one is that uh, I, w I saw that video. I was a Beastie Boys fan. Still am. I like some of their music. Um, and I said I have to know what that knife is. And I think, I want to say I was 13 or 14 um, when I got it. And I'm like, you know, when I see a knife in a movie or in that case a music video or something, I have to identify it. It's like a pet peeve. If I do not, it bugs me. I lose sleep. I have to know what it is. And when I found out what it was at the time, I got one. Um, this is not the original one that I had. This is actually my second all stainless uh, Spyderco Police. Uh, this one has the ATS 55 blade, which you can see there in tank stamp. It's an old school police model. Uh, hidden pins, see the pivot pin is uh, worked into the handle. I mean, you could see where it is. I shine the light on it right there. But it's smooth, so it doesn't have any appearance of, uh, of anything. Awesome knife. Yeah, perfect lockup. Um, I sharpened the swedge on this. Okay, so you have a razor sharp swedge, and you can do that with this knife with very few knives because it is hidden in the handles, so you're not going to cut yourself. All right, nice little modification, extremely pointy, and especially with that razor sharp swedge, this makes a fantastic defensive folder if that's where you're into. If you want to carry a folder for defense, um, now a lot of people would say, "Oh my God, what are you talking about? It's stainless handles? There's no grip or anything." <laughs> in reality, you can hold a knife just fine. Uh, it's not as ideal as maybe some texture grip or anything, but trust me, if you squeeze on that handle and you swing it at someone, they're going to be in an immense amount of pain and probably be very effective. Um, but uh, yeah, awesome, awesome knife. Um, please be aware if you do buy this of that sharpened switch, don't forget about it and just run your finger over it. You're going to slice the heck out of yourself. But uh, in decent shape, it is used. Being stainless, you get slight scratches here and there, but honestly, it's in awesome shape considering its, its age. I'll give you a better shot here without the fingerprints. Um, not 100%, but uh, pretty darn good. So I'm going to sell this for 100 bucks, which I think is a steal for this knife. Just my personal opinion. But uh, anyway, that's what the deal is with that. Next one here is a 11-inch uh, Frank B Swing Guard Lockback Automatic Stiletto. That's a mouthful. And I didn't even tell you there was stag. What do you think of that? But you can obviously see it's stag. Um, yes, this is a fully automatic Italian switchblade, and this is a swing guard, okay, as opposed to um, like a pick guard or something, where uh, when this is shut, just like a, a case cheetah or something, that's a good, or some of the Puma knives out there, they're fixed blade, or excuse me, folding fixed blades, um, have a swing guard as well. And you can see there's a pin that goes to the blade, okay, so when you open this, it swings with the blade, and then in the open position, it acts like a guard. Okay, and a guard is just what you think it is. Keeps things from, <laughs> actually it has two purposes. One, it keeps your hand from riding forward onto the blade, okay, in case you're thrusting. And these stilettos are certainly thrusting knives. They're meant to stab people, really. They're meant to stab anything, but I guess it was originally designed for people. Um, but it also prevents, if for some reason, the extremely rare occurrence that you hear a knife fight and you both think you're playing with swords and his blade hits your blade, it'll, it'll prevent something from going down uh, down the blade and into your hand. But that's that's rare, and it's uh, honestly a fantasy to think that it's a, a bonus that you won't have to worry about that, because that's never going to happen. <laughs> but um, yeah, its main purpose is to keep your hand from riding forward. Very cool, genuine stag, scales on both sides. I like the back side a lot more for presentation. Uh, brass pins, nickel polished uh, everything else. High polished blade, uh, not mirror. But it's pretty darn close. Um, does have a functional edge, not razor sharp. It's a Chris style blade, K R I S. 
and it's a funky, fantastic knife. I love it, don't wanna get rid of it, but it is what it is. Um, lockback on this one as opposed to uh, messing around with the bolsters at all, just regular lockback style, which lifts the spine. And uh, has a safety here, which is very functional underneath. Okay, if you wanna make that safe your pocket so it doesn't actually accidentally open up. Very strong leaf spring on this one. Shoots out with no issues whatsoever. You can see a leaf spring on the inside. All right, that's what builds all the tension when you're pushing down. But just a beautiful, beautiful knife. Um, this one I'm gonna sell for another hundred bucks, just for a quick sale. Um, it's very nice, so I'm gonna be very happy with it. But yeah, I got that one here. Let me leave this blaze open. Two awesome knives for collecting. Uh, that's definitely a user. That one probably wouldn't want to use it unless you want to look really cool open your mail. The last one here is certainly a collectible, but you can use it. Uh, in fact, I carry this. The knife's brand new. I don't want to say it's mint condition because I did carry it. I carried it for a total of seven days. Um, not in a row, but seven days overall. Did not cut a thing with it. Okay, so from the factory, it's never been used to cut anything, but it has been carried. Um, so I say it's condition is probably like 98, 99%. But uh, this is really special, and I don't want to give this one up. I showed it in another video. This is probably my favorite case knife I've ever had. But it's time to, you know, it's time for someone else to enjoy it. Um, this is a, uh, a stacked mother of pearl uh, two-bladed trapper. Okay, full size, or I should say standard size trapper. What makes this really interesting is the stacked pearl design. Now, anyone can go and find this knife just in regular mother of pearl, and it is real genuine mother of pearl scales um, without this stack pattern or 3D type look to it. And you can get them for about 180 bucks across the board. Most places 180 will get you one of these knives similar to this. But you will not find this knife. In fact, I, I've searched very hard to try to find another one um, just to get a, a better idea of its current value, and I could not find another one for sale anywhere. And I have plenty of sources to find these. So first of all, a little homework assignment. If you have really nothing to do, try to find one of these for sale and let me know what they're selling it for. But uh, anyway, um, what makes this really cool is this kind of topical graph or topographical map type look to this thing where you actually have um, the carving, not only in the, uh, the mother of pearl itself, but you have it in the bolsters. It follows through. It's really, really neat. Very, very cool stuff. And it's on the reverse as well. And just crystal clear, high grade, you know, hand selected mother of pearl on these. This is one that you take out the polishing cloth and you just go nuts on it all the time because it's so amazing and beautiful. Um, like I said, blades were not used. Let me get the fingerprints off. Still factory edge. Very cool. It's just, it's beautiful. Uh, when I did carry this, I carried it in the uh, Case Hobo sheath. Um, so it's just a leather belt sheath. So it wasn't in the pocket or anything with scratches. I wouldn't allow it. That would uh, hurt my conscience. I couldn't do it. Too brutal. And there's your spade blade. So yeah, it's a very rare, very hard to find collectible case folder. And I'm gonna sell this one for 300. These prices all include shipping. Uh, CONUS, you know, continental US, and uh, shipping is included in the price. So if anyone's interested in these knives, uh, shoot me a message. Um, like I said, check the description box first. I'll clearly let you know if it's uh, still available or if they're sold. Um, uh, prices are slightly negotiable. Uh, if you have a serious offer, send it to me. It can't hurt. If you send me, you know, and say I'll give you 20 bucks for it, obviously that's silly. But if you give me, you know, a reasonable, like, hey, this is what I got, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll be honest with you. And it's just a simple yes or no. No one's feelings need to be hurt. <laughs> I'm not, I'm never hurt by a low bowl offer. You know, it's just, it's part of the game. It's no big deal. But worst thing that can happen is I'll say no or no thank you because I'm polite. <laughs> but uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your time as always. It's pretty cool to see these three knives together because they all are so different and offer so many different things. But somehow they look amazingly sexy together and they look like they're meant to be together. It's like the three musketeers. Everything kind of carries over from the, the high polish kind of finish. I mean, the all stainless gives off that kind of feel. 
and of course some other pearl and stag being somewhat exotic materials. I mean, they're heavily used in the knife industry, but they're always considered special or exotic. Just awesome. And they all have completely different things about them. Totally different. Awesome, beautiful gentleman's knife. Different style blade shapes than these. The Chris is obviously kind of an exotic type thing. You know, just awesome. They look great together. <laughs> they really do. Um, but anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you soon. Take care.